like a doll's eyes here with a little uh, another two for one statue review today I'm going to do the Punisher and Daredevil by XM Studios so a lot of hype surrounding XM Studios and one that I wasn't really buying into uh, especially when they first started off I was like eh, they're okay I mean their Magneto was phenomenal I, I can't argue that um, but I was less than impressed with uh, like their face sculpts um, I thought they had some great ideas, but they just weren't really achieving what they, I think, what they were wanting to achieve. And I uh, like things like their Captain America. It looked cool, but it wasn't, it just was missing something. Um, uh, their Wolverine. I, I see a lot of people like that Wolverine. I don't like the face sculpts. I don't like the pose. But I think XM has been getting immensely better. I think their Lizard, their Venom, their... Their, uh, their cable, their, uh, these two pieces right here, um, their Ghost Rider, all phenomenal. Uh, their upcoming uh, Hulk, uh, Gladiator Hulk, looks like that's going to be a winner and a half. Uh, so they've definitely been up in their game. And so I just wanted to, you know, I figured it was time to, to dive in. And actually, um, Daredevil was the first of their statues that really kind of um, blew me away as far as their art direction went, and I thought it was really cool, and, um, and I thought about getting it, but I was like, you know, I, I didn't really have anything to, to go, to have it go with, I mean, I, it needed a companion piece, in my opinion, I, I like Daredevil, I'm not a huge Daredevil fan like I am Hulk and, and Spidey and, and Punisher, um, and so I wanted, um, to get the comic cat again, I had to sell it way back when, and I was like, looking at the prices, I was like, well, Jeepers for the price! I, I could I could get the XM piece and it comes with a motorbike and everything. So um, I went ahead and ordered both around the same time. Sold a bunch of statues uh, so I could afford these both and um, got them both. And I got um, Daredevil first. And in all honesty, I was a little disappointed. Um, I watched a lot of reviews. Be Mother's review out there, statue review, um, uh, uh, Oh, Cartel from Hell, of course, Red Titan. I watched all their reviews, and um, Red Titan was the only one that was kind of like a little hard on the piece. They liked it, but they, you know, they, they definitely had some issues. Um, I, you know, I, I thought all the reviews, it looked great, and uh, so, but I was a little disappointed, and I'll tell you why here in a second. So, next to come in was the Punisher piece. This was the piece I went, oh, this is what they're talking about with all the XM, you know, hype. And it wasn't just the fact that it came with a motorbike and was so cool, but everything was so well done. I mean, the paint apps look great. The, the I gotta be honest, I know this is a small thing and it really doesn't affect the display of the piece, but the boxing, the fact that um, you don't have to worry when an XM piece is coming to you, that nothing should break. I mean, they pack it so well. Uh, this Punisher came from Singapore and it came in a brown box that was beat to hell and uh but he was in uh, perfect condition so i'm um, very happy uh something you can't really see on this piece that um it's hard to pick up in all the videos that i've watched is what great detail has been done with uh the face sculpt one of my problems with um xm is a lot of the face sculpts i look at them and they look a little bland they look a little bowen-esque a little cheap and uh even this um, piece. I thought it looked like Ariel Olivetti's head sculpt, but I thought there was um, it lacked a little detail. Not so when you get it in hand. There is so much shading and detail going on in this head sculpt. It's it's really amazing, and I'm really happy with the piece. Um, so one of my problems with the, the Daredevil piece, and I'm going to stand up here, and we're going to go to shaky cam here, is with the Punisher piece here. Um, you can see where the knife uh, sheath, where it's got the belt that attaches the knife sheath, knife sheath, um, how it's like a, a its own separate sculpt, and they, they laid it onto the leg, and it gives it a three-dimensional look. They didn't do that with the Daredevil. Everything is is just all attached to the to the sculpt, and it just looks a little cheap and takes away the um, the. Uh, the, the, the look of the piece. It, it, it takes away the life that this piece has. This piece doesn't. This piece looks more like a, a statue. This piece has some life and some three-dimensional look to it. Um, they did the same thing here. You know, it just everything is kind of looks separately sculpted. The, the gun and everything on his side, his belt. Um, uh, again, the, um, the, the, the sheath and everything. Uh, everything's not so much with this. And it just gave it a cheap look, especially where his his, um, his uh, bayonets or not bayonets. His uh, uh, I'm drawing a blank here. Is his night sticks <laughs> where they go in, and um, it just took away a little bit uh, uh, 
from the piece and I was a little disappointed and I was like, I don't know if these things are worth that much more. When I first opened him up, that much more than Sideshow. Um, and I don't get it and I and I wasn't sure. Now, having said that, I think that's the best Daredevil statue, one-fourth scale statue out there. I just wasn't so sure that it was worth so much more than what Sideshow charges, but I do think it's, it's, it's better. Um, the Punisher, I would say, was, was worth the investment. Uh, everything is done um, perfectly on this piece. It does have the little flaw there where the gun and the um, arm are one sculpt, and you can see the little bit of um, where the they connect inside, and it does uh, take away from the overall look of the piece a little bit if you catch it at the right angle. But other than that, everything else is perfect on this piece. Uh, the bike is sculpted very well. Um, his gun, which is something I want to point out, uh, B mother pointed this out and I wanted and he didn't think this piece right here came off he said he couldn't get it to go um, this is where the stand for the gun is supposed to go and if you just twist kind of screw it it doesn't screw in or anything it just it definitely does come off and I can even screw it right now and I just gave it a little bit of screw it came off put the thing on put that back on and there you go so and I think it looks better that way but really really amazing and I know that Getting in here for the face sculpt, I'm not going to pick up the details, um, but they did an amazing job. Another thing that's really cool, and you can't ever see it in the videos, and you can't really see it outside, but the shirt, um, the skull looks like it has a satin finish. So the shirt looks a little satiny, and, um, and uh, it's just a really cool effect that they have. So uh, overall, very happy. I would say that... Um, Punisher, I would give a 9.5 out of 10, and a Daredevil, I'd give an 8.5 out of 10. Uh, that would easily move up if they had uh, separately sculpted pieces. So, um, but very happy with both pieces. Very cool. Uh, probably not my last XMs. You know, I'll probably get something else down the road. I'm trying to go more quality than quantity. So I've been selling some pieces off, and I'm looking for uh, something now. I'm not sure who I'd get. Um, I'm looking at that Gladiator Hulk. That's going to cost a, a bundle, so I don't know if I can justify that or not. But um, And I don't know what I'm going to sell uh, out of my stuff. Um, I don't want to sell any of my Hulks. But anyway, uh, really, really uh, good work. Great job by XM Studios. They're getting so much better. And um, in all honesty, though, I, I, I'll say this really quick before I run out of time. I like the Punisher comic cat better, but I think it's because he's standing and he's snarling and he's got bigger arms and he's more imposing. So it's just, it had, but this is a better piece as far as the quality and, and sculpting and everything else goes. So uh, I just like the uh, art direction with the um, the, uh, the comic cat better, it's as simple as it is. It's just a very intimidating looking piece. So I still might pick that up down the road. But anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Leave comments, like, all that stuff. So uh, talk to you guys later. Bye.